It's been more than six months since Russia invaded Ukraine. Now a local man that owns a business there is reminding people that the war is not over. Newsom's Blake Dollier tells us about one man's firsthand experience with the war. Rondrell John Sullivan owns his own company, JF Sullivan and Associates in Ukraine. I talked to him today to hear what's happening there and what it's like for people and businesses in the middle of a war. John Sullivan's journey started right here in Terre Haute. Then he moved out to Denver, Colorado, and after that, back to Terre Haute, where he's from. Then Sullivan moved to Palm Beach County, Florida, and finally, all the way out from Florida to Kiev, Ukraine, where he now owns a business. Sullivan says since the war began, businesses and people have been on high alert. You'll be sitting in a restaurant outside, and the air raid sirens will hit. What do you do? And that's a thought process that goes through everyone's mind. And you actually get to the point of saying, okay, it's an air raid siren, we could die. As air raid sirens sound and missiles repeatedly hit Ukrainian cities, Sullivan says people are seeing things no one should have to see. What goes through your head is this reality of people are dying. You know, this is not just, you know, this is not reality TV. While running his business, Sullivan spends some time in the U.S. When he's back, he disables the air raid sirens from his cell phone, but says the silence is deafening. When I turn it off, it's a freaky feeling for me because I'm waiting for an air raid siren and there's no more noise. Sullivan says despite the war, people in Ukraine are continuing almost as normal. His business is still running, as are about 70% of others, including this mall that was hit by a missile. He says the Ukrainians plan to fight until the very end. It has to stop. The Russians are a culture that needs to be isolated. They have done this throughout their history. They are brutal, they are barbarians, and they are terrorists. And we have to stop it. To learn more about Sullivan and his journey, go to our website. Rondrell, back to you.